Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to stream audio from two different devices or multiple devices at the same time on Windows 10 and 11. So you'll be able to use your headphones and your speakers with the exact same audio at the same time. So in order to do that, you'll need to grab a little bit of software. So you'll need to grab Voice Meter Potato. I'll leave a link in the description. Just download it. Once you have it downloaded, extract it and install it. It will open after that and then you'll just need to restart your computer for it to take full effect. After a system restart, go over to Windows settings, go to system, then go to sound. Then here you'll see a couple of new options for your output. So you can ignore most of them. They're all different channels. So just make sure you have your output set to voice meter input. So it'll be this one here. Once you have done that, you can actually open voice meter potato. Okay, so now that we have voice meter potato open, I'm just going to explain it. It's not as complicated as it looks. So up here in the top right hand corner, you'll have your channels. So your device channels. So here we've got A1, we're going to set it as our headphones. A2, we're going to set to our speakers. So now we have our channel one and channel two with two different devices. So now we'll go back over to this column. So here you'll see the voice meter input, which is the one we set up in settings and we have our options. So this here is the volume slider. Just be prepared for this to be really loud. So I would adjust it down before you start playing anything. And then you have the A1 and A2 options. So these are the ones we set up here. So these are both devices. So to enable them, make sure they're green. To disable them, make sure they're off. That's all you need to do. Leave B1 just as standard. You don't need to worry about that. And then finally, if you do have some issues without having any sound when you're fooling around with this, just go down to the taskbar, go to the volume icon and make sure it's actually set here as well. So make sure you're using the same input option as the one listed up the top. Sometimes Windows doesn't actually acknowledge that you've changed it in settings. So you might have to jump around between these two. Anyway, that's pretty much the entire guide, nice and quick, and it'll allow you to share your audio between as many devices as you want. Well, up to five with this version, but five is plenty. And anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Cheers, everyone.